Well, tonight, a crime spree that law enforcement officers in Lakeland want to stop. Yeah, thieves are grabbing people's boats and sometimes their boat motors, taking off with them. And Rod Carter is live in Lakeland tonight with details on it. He's actually on a boat on the water. A nice place to be tonight, Rod. Yeah. You know what? This is why we love Florida, right? We have some beautiful lakes out here like Lake Parker and Lakeland. So a lot of people like to take the boat out, do some fishing, go out on the lake, just kind of hang out. Well, these very boats are becoming the target of some thieves here across the Bay Area. They're slipping in in the middle of the night and making off with those vessels. To this pulley here. Charlie Saban shows me where his little boat used to be. He and his wife, Sharon, would take it out just a couple of times a week. This was just a little fishing boat. With a little 14 footer with a 9.9 .9 horsepower on yeah. it. The other day, though, someone docked them permanently. We were sitting here drinking coffee on, on in our, our back porch there, and Sharon looked up. She said, "Your boat's missing." This is a picture of their boat, the one Crook slipped off with, lowered from its lift and stolen. It's, it's been hanging out there on that lift for approximately a year. The Sabins tell me it was pretty easy for that boat thief to come in and find their boat because their property is located right next to this public boat ramp. So the person drove up here, walked right around the seawall behind their house, and then right over to their boat. But they are not alone. The Polk County Sheriff's Office tells me at least 16 times in two months, crooks stole boats or motors or both, mostly in the eastern part of the county. The boats that are being stolen are smaller boats, easier to grab, easier to haul away. Some of the boats have been recovered with the motors missing. So now they are warning boat owners to be very watchful. Turn the boat trailer around completely in your yard so that somebody can't connect their truck to it and just drive off with it. I'm not happy about it, obviously. In the Sabin's case, he locked up the motor as best he could, but it really didn't help. And, of course, uh, a lot of those boat thefts that are happening right now, the motors are, are just taken. The boats have been found, but the motors are gone. So, by the way, there are a lot more uh, municipalities who are dealing with this problem as well. So, honestly, there may be more, Keith, than just 16 here uh, in the eastern part of Polk County. And what are they doing with all these motors, Rod? Are they selling them somewhere? Yeah, that's probably the conventional uh, thought here. But, the, you know, the sheriff's office did check around with some of the pawn shops because they have very aggressive uh, policies where you have to give information about who you are and what you're pawning to make sure you own it. They said they have not seen any kind of upticks or anything in people pawning those motors. So I'm sure it's being sold somewhere, but maybe not at a pawn shop. All right, Rod Carter on the water tonight in Lakeland. Thanks, Rod.